Like, I don't want you to be watching this and you're like, I don't care nothing about chemistry. But there is an actual story. There's other people, there's animals, there's all kinds of stuff. Hey, I'm Kyla Denanyo and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, Lessons in Chemistry. This book is written by Bonnie Garmas. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is humor literature. So this book, I've heard a lot about it. I've seen people talking about it online and it wasn't until someone that I know personally recommended it to me that I was like, let me look for it, right? So I'm walking to the library and we have this thing called Quick Pick, which is where a book comes in, nobody has it on hold real quick, snatch it up, right? You, or I think it's when they buy a new book. And so I grabbed it, but it's phenomenal. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm going to break my rule of, you know, one through seven, like I typically do, and tell you, Point seven, would I reread the book? Yes, 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 it was so good. So an important quote in the book or plot twist is when the main character has to explain to someone else that cooking is chemistry, right? I had never considered cooking to be chemistry, never. I know you mix things together, I know there's a reaction, well, it's a chemical reaction. And that's not really spoiling the book. You'll get some of that explained if you read the description or just a quick little run through about what the book is. But cooking is chemistry. <laughs> so yes, there are sections of the book which are really long drawn out about how eggs elongate when they're whipped and they add air to them and that's what makes the cake rise. Sure, right? Like Bonnie knows exactly what she's talking about or she did some exceptional research, but cooking is chemistry, pheromones are chemistry, falling in love can be a chemical reaction, parenting is chemistry, like all of it, all of it is chemistry. And so while I did not have too many favorite quotes in the book, one of my favorite characters was kind of a sub character and that was the doctor. So the book follows Calvin and Elizabeth and the doctor is an OBGYN, which is an obstetrics and gynecologist. Actually, I don't know if the gynecologist part, but he is an obstetrician. He talks about helping women birth babies. And there's a statement he makes where he talks about how, oh, I know women are stronger than men. Have you seen them give birth? It felt good to see it written down, okay? I am a mother, I have birthed a child. It is not easy to give over your body for these couple of months, but even that is chemical, right? Everything in this book is about chemistry and chemical reactions and how things react and like, I never would have thought about the world like that, right? Like I'm rocking my alma mater shirt. I'm a lawyer. I don't think about things. I don't think about chemistry. I don't think about organic chemistry. I don't think about regular chemistry. I don't think about I don't think about chemistry. I know for sure for the next couple weeks, I'll be walking around looking at things like, I painted this desk, it was wet and then it dried, that's a chemical reaction, right? Like I braided my hair with some pomade, that was a chemical reaction or like everything is chemical, everything is chemical. <laughs> So that was so eye-opening to me, but it was in a really entertaining way. Like, I don't want you to be watching this and you're like, I don't care about chemistry. But there is an actual story. There's other people, there's animals, there's all kinds of stuff as well. But the chemical reaction of the, it just, that's the part that blew me away, right? And this is Kyla's reading day, I'm talking about what was important to me. And that was what blew me away, okay? And the book broke my heart. There's a section of the book you're reading, you're reading, you're reading. There was a part of the book that I was just slack jawed. What just happened? And I did not see it coming. I did it. And even now I'm a little embarrassed because I didn't see it coming. But the book is a very, really, really good read. So. Thank you for watching today's review of Lessons in Chemistry. Excellent book. I'm very happy that I picked it up that I found a quick little copy because it's flying off the shelves. People are raving about it and I took a chance on it when I saw the moment and I'm really happy that I picked it up. So let me know if you have read Lessons in Chemistry. Let me know if you are remotely interested in chemistry. <laughs> and if you're not, that's okay too, right? Just leave me a comment, let me know what's going on. And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.